Hey family, welcome to The Hub. Today, I'm coming to you live from Bali. I'm currently on the Wanted Woman Retreat. It's eight of us here at this beautiful villa. And I wanted to show you a little bit of it. But before we get there, mm -hmm, before we get there, I wanted to talk about roommates when traveling. <laughs> I think it's important to talk about these things because it, it really spills over into relationship and communication. And in my traveling, I have hosted at least eight group trips, right? At least, uh, yeah, at least eight group trips. And so I know a thing or two <laughs> about what comes up while on vacation with others. And so if you ever decide to have a roommate while on vacation, there are three major things that you should talk about before you travel, or at least when you get there, right? So so tip number one is you wanna talk about the AC, right? So the AC, you see this right here? My AC is on 26 Celsius right now, but while my husband was here, it was on 22. I was sneezing, I was taking DayQuil, I was wondering why I wasn't feeling well. It's because sis was cold. <laughs> I was cold, y'all. He had me like an Eskimo. I'm like, this is not okay. This is not okay. But since he and my family left and the ladies came in, I've been able to do my AC the way I like to do my AC. And I've been good, right? I've been good. And so what's so funny is that two of the ladies that came are like besties, right? One's a Delta, one's an AKA, hey, right? And um, I, I sat down and I told them this and I said, have you ever room before? They said, no. I said, okay. So what's funny is two nights ago, one of them was like, you know what? I'm going to just sleep on the couch out here. We have like an outdoor living room area. She said, I'm going to sleep on the couch out here because what what y'all will see is that um, each, of our, each of our rooms has this giant glass. So everyone can see your glass and you close it if you don't want to be seen. But she had it open and there was frost on the window, y'all. There was actual frost. There was actual frost on the window. So she was like, I can't go in there. It's a it's an ice cube. It's a <laughs> this this just isn't going to work, right? So literally, um, old girl turned up the AC for her friend so she could come and go to sleep, right? So number one is the AC. Number two is your nighttime and your morning routine. If you are that person that rises with the sun or before the sun and needs to go for your morning run and whatever it is, have your stuff to the side, have it already laid out and don't do this. Let me show y'all this. And yes, I'm in my bedroom. Yes, the room is messy, stop judging me, right? When I travel with my mom and my grandma, I always have to tell them, please don't do this. <laughs> for some reason, they are always forgetting something in the in that one bag at the bottom of the suitcase. You know, like that Sheen bag, that Timu bag, that Amazon bag, that plastic bag, that Scandal bag. <laughs> they are always searching for a bag at five o'clock in the morning, right? So I often will tell them, like, hey guys, do you have your medicine out? Do you have what you want for tomorrow? Do you have your essentials? You got your Bible, Grandma? Is it out? Because um, I'm trying to sleep. And that sound is one that surely wakes people up. Right? So I want you to think about that. And you're going to sleep routine. If you're a person that needs the television, I'm gonna need you to travel with your ear pods and your cell phone and have your plug. Because um, don't keep this up watching the nightly news. Right? I know that the internet went out. We survived. We're okay. All right? So those are those that's that's number two. And now number three is keep your clothes on. Keep your clothes on, please. Can you please keep your clothes on? Now, here's the thing, right, guys? I think it's really important. You know, I know that you love being naked. I love being naked. But when you have a roommate, if you by yourself, close your blinds, do what you want to do. But if you by yourself, 
me. But if you have a roommate, please be considerate of that roommate. Um, on the Wanted Woman Escape that we do, one of the ladies said, Coach Cass, we got to have a conversation. <laughs> like, what did I do? How did I get paired with this woman? I said, what happened, sis? She said, she was naked the whole time in the room. And not only naked, but I was between the toilet and the sink. And she had to bend over to get something, y'all. She had to bend over <laughs> to get something. She's all traumatized. So that is when the third rule of roommates came about. So this is something that I address on all of my trips before everybody goes to sleep the first night and also in our pre-party like, Don't walk around naked. I don't care how free you are. <laughs> okay, so those are the three rules of traveling and having a roommate. Can y'all, can y'all, can y'all do that? Can y'all adhere to those rules? If you could adhere to those rules, you could come on our next experience, right? So the Wanted Woman Retreat next year will be in You got to come to our info session for that, sis. Go to wantedwomanretreat.com today to um, just, um, what's it? Hold your spot. Not really hold your spot. Join the wait list. There we go. Join the wait list. And then you'll be able to um, get the link for the Bali after party. Okay. All right. Was that helpful, y'all? Was that helpful? So let me show y'all this villa because I know you want to see it, right? So we can start in my room. Yes, it's messy. I don't care, right? So there's my room. I slept in it. There's the toilet, there's the shower, and then when we come here, check this out, right? There's an outdoor tub, huh? How nice is that? Oh, are y'all loving this? Let me show you out here. This is the entrance to the villa. Here's our view here. Hopefully you've been checking in on our Instagram and our stories. Look at this, isn't that nice? And then we'll just head over to breakfast with the chef. The chef just placed the breakfast. Look at this breakfast, y'all. And look at these ladies. Good morning, Hi. ladies. Good morning. Hey. Mm -hmm. That's my mom. Mommy. Ibu. Uh, Ibu. Ibu. Hey. Salamat pagi. Salamat pagi. Hey. Come on. Thank you, Balinese pancake. Hey, the Balinese pancake. Right. Oh, nice. Yes. Oh, Kristen. Um, <laughs> Lord have mercy. Kanika. Kanika I wanted those. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Hi. All right, y'all. Have a great day. And I'll see you next time. Keep loving. Keep laughing. Keep living.